Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can have a graphical user interface on top of browser use. I covered this browser use a couple of days ago, both with Olama and API based models. In very simple words, if you want your AI agents to access websites easily, then browser use could be a good option for you. As I said, you can run it with local models or you could run it with API based models. To be honest, if you are building an agentic software, in my experience, API based models perform really well instead of the quantized local models. But I will leave that decision to you. You can watch these two videos and decide yourself. Coming back to this browser use, it is simply a Gradio interface on top of that browser use, which is a very easy way to make your website accessible for AI agents and you can perform a lot of tasks on top of it. In, behind the scene, it uses a lot of technologies which I have gone into way more detail around architecture in my other videos. So just go to my channel and search with browser use and you should be able to find heaps of information around that if that is what you are looking for. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how you can use this browser use in a nice easy web interface running in your local browser before i do that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay so the easiest way of installing this web UI is through Docker. So make sure that you have Docker installed. This is my Ubuntu system. I am running a GPU card, but I will be using API based model for this just for a quick demo. But you can simply use Olama based. And if you want to know how to do that, just watch my other video, which I showed you earlier. I already have Olama, uh, sorry, Docker installed. And again, if you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I have done a very simple to follow video around that too. Also, let's quickly git clone the repo of this browser use web UI that is done. My Docker is already there. Second step which we need to do is to set, it, is to set the environment. Now, all you need to do is to just copy this .env.example and then you can open it in your um, coded any editor of your choice so you see i'm just going to go with the open ai one you can use anthropic azure deep seek and there are various other which you can use so let me set my open ai's api key here and then i will save and exit if you are following along if you want to get the api key you need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there that is a paid option so i'm going to set my key now and the key is set from here all you need to do is to run this docker compose build this is going to download and then it is going to build it this is going to take a few minutes so just be patient and wait and browser use web ui is now running on our local host at port 7 double, seven double eight. so let me quickly access it and there you go so this is uh, the browser use web UI, which you can readily use. From this interface, you can select some of the settings. I normally just keep, would just suggest to keep everything as is here. And then LLM configuration, we are using OpenAs, which we already have covered in the .env file. If you haven't set your .env file, you can set your API key here too, as you can see. And there are a few other providers, which we already have shown in the other video. And then there is a browser setting, what sort of browser you want to use. You can even use a headless one. You can use your own browser. You can keep the browser open up to you. And it also records your session and then it just puts it here in the recordings. And then from run agent, you can give it a task and then just click on run agent and then it just starts using the browser. So if I click run agent, you see that it is running here and I'll just cancel it. It has opened the browser just as per my task so let's wait for it and you can see that behind the scene it is processing it takes a bit of a time 
There you go, now it is working. It is searching on Google about something. So it's the same thing which we saw in the CLI. It's the same thing which it does here in the GUI. So it is searching with OpenAI and then it is going to return us the first URL. So we have our own URL here, as you can see. The speed is quite good too, in terms of this web scraping and really I'm marveling that how far we have come. There you go. So it has come back and all done. Now refresh recordings and there you go. This is our recording, the first recording which has just popped up. And by the way, as it, as it is using API based model, so beware, uh, this has some charges. So let me quickly go to my uh, OpenAI's platform and then quickly check how much did it cost me. Just give me a sec. Okay, so it is slightly expensive, I would say. For this one task, it has charged me around 30 cents US, which is quite high, I would say. Anyway, let me do one. Maybe it is using vision model at OCR and all that stuff. But this time, I'll just say go to uh, fahadmirsa.com and give me the title of the blog, title of the site. Let's run it. So this, don't worry about this authentication required. This is just my uh, remote session with it. There you go. So it has opened it up. My website, it's a very old website. And then it is going to perform some tasks on it. There you go. And it has returned us. I mean, that's it. And it's still processing, processing, and now it is using the really good stuff. So if you click on results here, these are the results. And then these are the actions and these are the model thoughts. Really, really good stuff. There is also a trace file if you're interested in learning more, which is quite interesting. Maybe you could build your own tools. And then of course, you should have the second recording. There are two recordings, okay? That's cool. And then maybe let's give it slightly harder task. Okay, now I am asking it, go to mail.yahoo.com, create me a new email address. The new email address should be something, select some complex password and fill the rest of the information by yourself. And where you don't know, just make it up. Let's see what it does, should be interesting. Don't get any ideas about spamming others. Let's see if it does it or not because there should be some captcha or that sort of stuff. So it has gone to Yahoo Mail. Okay, there you go. Interesting. You see, it is making it up AI user browser. It has given the correct email address, complex password. Oh, wow. So it is giving me some, it is giving them some information be first and then this should be fun good on yahoo.com for giving this uh, phone number there you go so it has finished it there because it couldn't do it that's fine so, and this way we have also tested that yahoo's mail is quite solid well done so if you go to results there should be some results there good stuff so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching